It's been five months since Germany went to polls and now it looks as though Berlin may finally have a government. Chancellor Angela Merkel's CDU, CSU combined and its erstwhile coalition partner, the Social Democratic Party will commence the process of forming a coalition. But the Germans are complicated people and yes, it's not that straightforward either. Beginning today and with a deadline in about three weeks, about 450,000 Social Democratic Party members will first have to say ja or nay to whether they want to team up with Mrs. Merkel's union again or not. The problem is the so-called young socialists within the SPD. They are dead against joining a CDU-CSU coalition again and have even enrolled 35,000 new members to the SPD who will definitely vote against going into a new government with Chancellor Merkel. But Vion has learned from SPD sources that despite that, the coalition will in all likelihood be formed. So what will the social, social Democrats want and what are they likely to get? They will of course want the key portfolios of the Labour and Finance Ministries. The man in the Foreign Minister's seat Mr. Sigmar Gabriel is already a popular figure across party lines. Getting finance would be a feather in their cap, as the position is virtually that of Vice-Chancellor. And what about the biggest question hanging over the heads of all European Union countries, including and especially Germany? The question of refugees from the wars in the Middle East. Beyond sources say that though the socialists and the Christian Democrats were at variance, they have now reached a compromise on the question. Naysayers are many, even in Germany. They shake their heads and say this coalition will never last and that Germany may well see another fresh poll. But even Ms. Merkel's greatest critics grudgingly admit that when this coalition is formed, it will complete its remaining term of over three years.